Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This here in the Atlantic, very close to becoming a subtropical storm. It may have yesterday. This is the imagery yesterday. This is off the east coast of the U.S., very close to Bermuda, and you can see the spin for yourself very clearly. It looks a lot like a system that formed early last year. This may have been a subtropical storm for at least a brief period of time. That's a system that kind of breaks free from a front or forms separately from a front. Not truly tropical in nature, because because the water is not super warm. It would have more of a kind of a sprawly wind field, much like this system has. I do believe the National Hurricane Center may go back and take a look at this and say, hey, maybe this was a subtropical storm and potentially the first storm of the season. And you can see the spin here. This is the imagery from yesterday when I do uh, think it may have become a subtropical storm. It was that big spin that drifted down, kind of broke free from a front close to the uh, Northeast US. I was talking about that a couple videos ago and you see it here very clearly. I showed you that close up look, the center of it, it, kind of that classic subtropical storm look with this system. And you see on the imagery right there, here's Bermuda. This yesterday again pulling just off toward the southeast there of Bermuda. Now uh, with that said, it's, it's not a tropical storm. It's not feeding off of super warm water. It's not super symmetrical, although you saw that spin right there. Uh, these systems typically have kind of a, a bigger wind field. The winds aren't quite as strong, but they typically have a bigger wind field. So not quite tropical in nature. They're called subtropical in nature. And sometimes you may hear of extra tropical systems. Those are systems that were tropical and that have kind of a dissipated into a, a not tropical uh, system. But you can see that spin right there. This may have been at least briefly yesterday, the first name uh, storm of the season. Not sure if they're going to go back and classify it. Uh, and it is very rare for this uh, time of year. March, the quietest of the months uh, as far as uh, looking back at history. I looked back at January, February, March, only one named storm on record. April has uh, seven. May, that's when things pick up, and I believe we'll see a name system this May before the hurricane season starts, which starts June 1st. Now, the one that developed in March before was back in 1908. That for March 6th uh, through the 9th, 1908. And it was actually a hurricane, not just even a hurricane, a category two hurricane with winds of 160 miles per hour or, or 160 kilometers an hour or 100 miles per hour. And it kind of was in the same location this one is, but then this one moved all the way down into the Caribbean and it did cause damage, especially uh, to the uh, agriculture uh, industry, if you will, at the time of 1908, crossing over toward uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Martin. It did cause damage. Here's that official track on this 1908 one. Now the one that's forming now, I don't believe is going to dive down into the Caribbean. It's actually going to move away. But this here, earlier last year, there was a system much like the one we're seeing right now that they didn't name at the time. And then months later, they went back and looked at it and said, hey, this was uh, should have been a named storm. This was a subtropical storm. This one here was back in January of 2023. So early last year, and it formed off the coast of the Northeast, much like the system we have now. This one spun its way up with some very gusty winds over toward parts of uh, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, even Prince Edward Island. Island, January of 2023. So these subtropical systems do happen. This one really looks like a subtropical storm. At least it did yesterday. I do think it should have been a classified. We'll see if they go back and classify it. And you still see it here it's still spinning out there. It will eventually work away. This front here along the U.S. will kind of grab it. They'll kind of merge and that'll kick away. Watching another system moving into parts of Canada, Pacific Northwest, and this here, there's the front we were talking about earlier this week. That one is moving into Florida with some rain. Elsewhere, we have been so dry. There's the tail end of the spin. And unlike the 1908 storm that uh, made its way into the uh, Caribbean, this one will be working itself away. So again, it's not classified at this time, but you can see it right there. I'll show it to you in a second on the big picture. I'll widen out. First thing is first, tracking a couple little showers around the very tail end of the front. Guyana and Suriname, the rain chance will pick up eventually, hopefully later next month. Some of that moisture starts to feed into Trinidad and Tobago. We need it. We need it in many locations. Now for tomorrow, there's the tail end of the front trying to work its way through Jamaica. Honduras and parts of Belize, that rain chance higher as expected, not a washout 
Not all of us are going to get the rain, but the rain chance will be a little bit higher in parts of Central America tomorrow. And as that front kind of fizzles out, as we work our way into Saturday, you see a little bump in the rain chance. Could see a passing shower in Jamaica. Better chance Puerto Rico, even the Dominican Republic, once we get into the Saturday forecast. So here's the big picture for us. Here's this front, and there's that spin that almost looks subtropical near Bermuda. So you could keep an eye on that. But this front here will eventually kind of grab it and help push that away. So it's not going to make a move down toward the Caribbean. There's some of the snow, that white shading you're seeing there, back over toward uh, the Rocky Mountains. So taking you out in time here, here's that front making its move. And you can see that spin right there, kind of getting tied into that, but a pretty big rainmaker for parts of the eastern U.S. and over toward the Atlantic region of Canada. I want to zoom down for you in a second and look at this next spin working its way into California. Higher terrain uh, snow, and it will be another flood issue for parts of California as we work our way into this weekend. But there goes that system right there on Saturday, making its way uh, out of here, uh, seeing that spin depart. And as we go out on time into Sunday, you see a couple little showers bubbling up as we get down toward uh, the Caribbean. Hopefully we get a, a few of those. Let me give you that closer look as promised back toward Canada in the Northeast US, mainly a rain event. But like I was showing you the last couple days, on the back side of this, we will see some colder air kind of sneaking into this, and that'll change some of the rain over to snow. But you see that rain in that yellow shading you're seeing here, that would be a moderate to even heavy rain at times. We'll see some gusty winds out of this. So taking you from our Thursday today into our Friday, see a little bit of a mix, could get some sleet. There's some snow, snow trying to creep into Maine, watching over toward a New Brunswick, seeing that chance of some snow, but there's the rain as you get over toward Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, stretching back to, toward uh, Newfoundland, of course, Northern zones, we'll see some snow. And there's some of the snow kind of on the backside of this system as we work our way into Saturday. So Jamaica, our rain chance gets a little higher on Saturday. That's with a front. It's not super high mostly on the dry side, same thing in the Cayman Islands, but the rain chance does go up a touch Friday night into Saturday. Trinidad and Tobago, again, we're mainly on the dry side, a stray chance of a shower on Saturday. I hope we get one or two. Rain chance about 20% in Barbados. Rain chance about a 20 to 30% chance in St. Lucia. And the rain chance not too high. As we get back toward Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, we're looking at some isolated stuff at best. Same thing in Martinique. Most of us are going to stay dry the next few days. Dominica could see a quick little passing shower, 10 to 20% chance in uh, Guadeloupe. Rain chance stays minimal in Antigua and Barbuda. Keep me posted if you do get any uh, passing showers. Let me know in the comments. You see as we work our way to St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, rain chance stays small, just a 10 to 20% chance. Anguilla and St. Bart's, a very limited chance of a shower. Rain chance stays on the small side. St. Martin, St. Anastasia may catch a shower on Saturday. And you see in Puerto Rico, rain chance gets a little higher on Saturday, bumps up a notch. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, we may see a few more showers around to start the weekend. Same thing as get over toward the Dominican Republic. I was showing you that with the model. Haiti mainly on the uh, dry side. Rain chance today as we work our way back through the Bahamas, especially northern Bahamas. Some of that rain coming out of Florida will clip us by. Turks and Caicos about a 30% chance for tomorrow. Cuba rain chance about 40% today. Spotty in nature, mainly eastern and uh, central zone, seeing that chance of a few showers the next few days. Belize rain chance 30% today. Could get a few passing showers tomorrow, mainly along our southern zones and a slightly higher chance in Honduras. Rain chance 10 to 20% in the Yucatan of Mexico. Aruba, again, not a lot. Uh, and the winds haven't even been kicking around a lot this week. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Rain chance stays on the low side. 10 to 20% chance in Bermuda as that spin starts to work our way. Costa Rica and Panama, still a few showers around, but the rain chance has gone down some. Some of us got some uh, much needed rain earlier this week. Thank you for letting me know about that in the uh, comments. You see Guyana though, tomorrow and Saturday, same thing in Suriname. The rain chance will start to get higher. We're going to see more of that moisture feeding in. Rain chance stays at about 10 to 20 percent chance uh, as we work our way into Venezuela. So a front sweeping by to the north. Rain chance overall though staying on the small side. The drought getting worse in our southern zones and I'm tracking that Atlantic spin which I do believe was at least briefly a subtropical storm. Hurricane season itself doesn't start until June 1st. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being part of this channel, liking the videos and subscribing to be part of this weather community. Have a great rest of your day.